Hello, Scrap Story and friends. I was just chatting with Char, Brandy, and Rosa, and I had a few questions about whether people would be interested in seeing how I took this album with nothing but these pages in it, totally blank, from nothing to 90% done in one day. I'm not making that up, actually one day. Now, I didn't take a break for lunch, so it really was a whole day. <laughs> this was basically my work day, like nine to five or 11 to eight, whatever you prefer. But I just sort of dove headfirst into December Daily, um, powered through for a great day. I had a lot of fun. And I thought maybe it's really useful to show the ways I broke that down, the ways I got it done quickly, the ways I simplified it in case you're feeling super overwhelmed and have your December Daily sitting in pieces and you just wanna make a good dent in it and uh, move on to the next project. So this is a super simple album. I um, started out with Paper wise, I don't have the cover of the collection, but I started out with a collection from Crate Paper. So I started with uh, the, some papers from Crate Paper Snowflake, some papers from uh, Fancy Pants Home for Christmas. These were mostly the accent papers. The main collection was Die Cuts with a View, Merry and Bright. And then I just found this craft, it's basically a binder, craft binder that I found on Amazon because I just couldn't find an album that I loved. So. The only thing done before I came in and sort of, you know, dove headfirst into all of this was that I had cut down all of these papers to about, I wanna say they're like nine by 11. They're not eight by 10, they're not eight and a half by 11. They're a bit of an odd size, uh, but I just went with it. So I just cut everything down. So I had all of these papers cut and sitting in the album. And I had a few photos printed and some notes about basically December 1st, we did this. December 2nd, I wanna tell this story. December 12th, tell this story. And I came in and I started printing photos. I print from home, which is really what makes part of this process a lot easier for sure. And like I said, the notes that I had had, I had my um, planner sitting here with me. I had my notes about what I did when, and I just kind of powered through. <laughs> but the reason it worked, and I think part of what made it make sense, is that I had a bit of a formula to stick to and that I didn't go crazy with titles or embellishment. So really I have, um, yeah, a formula, that's really the best thing to call it. And you'll see that as we go through. So day one, super simple. So what I started with, I each page I just looked at where I could use one photo, a couple of blocks of paper, and then a few embellishments. Things like this little guy, uh, some of the embellishments on here, you'll see those aren't on every page because what I really wanted to do was get the foundation done. And I think I did this last year as well. Get the photos in, get the day titles on, get a quick note about what had been happening. And then after all of that's done for the 31 days, then I go back and add some embellishments. So you'll see the formula is pretty obvious as we go through. I have a few photos that I printed really big. Um, so yeah, you can see that the formula I just picked one spot on each page where I was gonna layer a photo, or sorry, place a photo and layer some papers. And then I added some titles. A few pages have some embellishments already, some of the larger ones. But basically, there are no pages that have, I don't have enamel dots on here yet. I don't have um, extra stickers. I don't have label stickers. I don't have, you know, a lot of the extra super cute bits from the Crate Paper Snowflake collection. You can see I haven't used the stickers yet. Because what I really try to do is get all the basics in here some of the patterns that I like, some of the colors from the papers that I like, get all of that stuff down, and then I will come back to do all of those embellishments. Sorry, I'm flipping through really quickly, but I'm sure there'll be another look at this album before it all is said and done. So as you can see, I left a lot of the pages on, I left a lot of these sides blank uh, because there were days where I used both sides, but a lot of days where I didn't. I think what I might do is I will go back and use these pages to start adding in some of the family photos that we got from friends and that sort of thing. So right now I'm done all the way up to December 28th. So right now I have the 29th and the 31st, and then I have a little pocket back here where I was keeping some extra photos. This is gonna need a little bit of work. This isn't totally finished, but for now it's just holding some things that I needed to hang on to for later. So I guess the next best thing that we can do is kind of go back to the beginning I have nothing on this introduction page yet. So this was just one of my absolute favorite papers. I love this paper from Crate Paper Snowflake. 
and I felt like it had a lot of the colors that I wanted to uh, use. So it has a lot of the coppery colors, the pink, the blue, the white, the mustard color. So I thought even if I did nothing here, this is sort of the introduction to the colors in the whole album. I'll probably start adding some of the photos and mail we got on here. So here's an example of where I've added a couple of embellishments already, right? I just have these couple of tickets and tags that are sitting there because I have another story on this backside. So this is a perfect page where I, I could right now, we can and we will actually, is grab some of the embellishments that I have. So I have some uh, Prima crystals ready to go. I have some Prima sugar dots from the Apricot Honey collection. These are some things that I think I grabbed on clearance from Scrapbook Nerd when I, I kind of overdosed on supplies for this December daily. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun while I was shopping. And so you can't see this side of my desk right now. Um, I would swing the camera, but it'll be a little bit wobbly and we'll all be seasick or motion sick. Um, over here, I have all of the extra stickers, all of the extra embellishments, all of the extra cut aparts, a lot of the things that I have left over. So again, none of my, I haven't gotten to the end of my album or you know, to day 23 and gone, oh, I wish I had this sticker or I need this snowman or I want this whatever. Um, and this is probably something I've done, like I said, the last couple of years where basics down first and then go back and embellish the whole album because then I feel like every, th like the vibe kind of stays the same. The theme sort of stays the same. Every page will get a little bit of the chipboard or a little bit of the copper or a little bit of the stickers, but I won't feel like I have pages that are devoid of embellishments. That's very dramatic and not at all the, um, feeling I was going for but we'll work with it. So uh, this page, we have lots of options here for enamel dots. Uh, by the way, I have to mention this amazing set of letter stickers. They, I think they're Echo Park. Um, I don't have the packaging here in front of me, so I will find it and link it below. But these letter stickers are the best. They went all the way from the first to the 31st, had every single date that I need. I didn't have to turn, you know, eights into threes or anything crazy. There was about a hundred twos in the package. It was awesome. So right now what we can look through are some of the chipboard bits I have left over, some of the word stickers, some of the little labels and things I have left over, and just see if there's any spot on this page where it needs a little extra love or a little extra something something. This page could use a little Something that's not quite so square. So we can go with this guy. And I can tuck that uh, sort of under this photo down here. There's a little bit of a flip here because I had two different stories I wanted to tell. This was about getting our tree up uh, for this particular day before, we had, before I had friends come over for a clothing swap. So what I'd like to do is get this little guy under the washi tape, which Pretty easy to do, God bless washi tape. And then that flips back, so we have those two little bits and maybe a little something in this area. So I do have the second set of stickers from this pack because I'm smart like that and I bought the extra ones. So do we think here, here? Mm, we're gonna go with right there. And let's see what enamel dots would be fun on here. These are totally not Christmas colors at all, but I really liked this blue. And sometimes I like things that are not super obviously holiday, holiday, holiday. You know, it doesn't have to scream Christmas. I know it's a Christmas album. You know it's a Christmas album. It's all fine. All right. So that's one page down and we've been here for, I don't know, five minutes. And again, I um, some of these I'll leave blank if it's just a pattern I super love. Some of them I might put in some pockets and add some uh, the family photos, like the photos we receive from friends, from, from uh, cards, that kind of thing. So now we are on to a second page where I was Googling the <laughs> um, Marion Bright stack because I hadn't received it yet and I was trying to remember what colors it had because I felt like I had ordered it so long ago and I needed to know what was gonna go with it and what other supplies I could get, so on. 
because normally on December 2nd, I would have, you know, some foundation pages done, but not this year. So let's see what we can add onto this guy. I don't think this needs a lot. We already have a little friend sitting right here, but I do have these thickers again. Uh, Crate Paper Snowflake was my jam for this album, as you can probably tell. I love the colors in the Die Cuts with a View collection, um, but it just doesn't come with any embellishments, so I needed to add those in somewhere. I don't know, though, that there are a lot of these fabulous foil guys that are going to work on this page, so what are my other options? Let's see what we have on the chipboard. Fun in the snow, let's stay in. We have the little delivery car. Hmm, nothing is jumping out for this page, which is fine. We're not gonna spend a half an hour on it. It'll be there when I go back to it later. Ah, so day three, I finally ordered holiday cards, which are, you know, has to be done sometime. I do have a couple of little cards added in here, um, but it certainly wouldn't hurt to have some more bits and bobs on this page. So let's see what we have. I'm just looking through some of the die cuts I have. I could make this a little more interesting for you if I bring them over here. These are some of the die cuts I have left. It's really, really cold outside. It actually was cold outside the day we took this photo, despite um, the shorts and the fact that we don't look like we're cold. <laughs> it was, uh, these ones actually could work. This photo was taken at a family wedding, so that would be fun. Okay, so we have a couple of little label stickers, or word stickers, I should say. And some more die cuts, maybe, to give them a bit of a home to live in. What would work for that? No, this one's tricky because the photo itself isn't really wintry. What else can I audition? Let's go with these guys, first of all. And I've been using, sorry, I just stuck my head in there, which is going to be rough because we have some interesting... Um, some interesting hair going on today. We just, we're not gonna worry about that. I used this ink through the entire album too, just to bring in the, the coppery color a little bit more. This is the Cosmic Copper Dew Drop. So I can add these to both little homes I already have going for, or going with those snowflakes. That's easy enough. And then, since we do have this little guy right here, maybe a little something in this area, then we'll kind of bring everything together. So let's see. Can I get away with this guy? No, I'm not convinced. Maybe he'll wait till later. The word stickers are not totally going to work for this one again, just because, like I said, it is the, um, the photo taken May long weekend. So even though it was supposed to snow, it doesn't look like winter in the photo. I could go with another snowflake and then just add some enamel dots, I think, in those three spots. But I don't love that, but we can audition it there for now and then see what other options I have. These are some of the cards. Oh, those are a little too big. We'll move along from that. Hmm. add another word sticker in there. That doesn't really work either. Actually, let's just do some of the, some of these little labels. 
just add another little layer right there with this guy. Did I overdose on adhesive in here? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so I think that will be fine. And then I'm gonna go for the Super Sparkle enamel dots. And we'll call it a day on this one. Let's go with the uber shiny dimensional ones. And that's that page. So um, I will probably not, you know, keep you here with me while I go through the entire album to do the rest of these pages. But yeah, that's the idea. So hopefully if you're feeling stuck on your album right now, and if you're feeling like you just want to really get a dig in and get it finished and move on to the next thing, maybe there's something in here that will help you. So I guess the takeaways would be keep it simple and give yourself a good formula that you know you can work with for the majority of the pages. And then when you feel like you're in a good place and, and the bulk of the album is done, go back and add the fun stuff. So thanks for watching. We will do, um, I'm sure there'll be a flip through of more than one December daily coming up soon here. Brandy is working on hers. I think you've seen some of it already. And yeah, I will do a flip through when this guy is done, which hopefully will be soon. Happy New Year, Scrapstorians. Talk soon.